This is how you get uh, your two channel 30 watt amplifiers in a sealed bag. And that's how it comes. Quite an impressive amplifier for the uh, price and the size of it. And the heat sink over the chip, capacitors, coils, very sleek, very nice and tidy. Self-explanatory. It tells you where the pins are or supposed to be connected to. And inputs, outputs and the VCC or the voltage, supply voltage. It operates uh, between 8 to 26 volts supply and it gives two uh, 30 watt output. So I'm going to use this plug for my mobile as an, as an input audio and obviously you'll have three wires, two input and, and a ground uh, for the input so I need to solder those uh, in the right place and I'm going to use this snap-on uh, battery connector although it says it operates from 8 to 26 volts it can always be connected to a power supply by uh, any uh, crocodile, cl crocodile clips or anything else All right, um, I've connected the voltage wires uh, to, like I said, this battery connector, but I'm connecting it to actual variable DC voltage and I've set it on about 12 volts. Like I said, this, is, this operates uh, on voltages ranging from eight to 26 volts so uh, 12 volts is fine and this is my input which is connected to my mobile the audio input and the output uh, two channels connected each to the separate speaker and each speaker is six oh sorry um yeah, 6 ohm, 40 watts. Uh, our range of output for the amplifier is 6 to... Uh, sorry, 4 to 8 ohm and 30 watts. So this is 40 watts, but it's still the, it's the ohmage that matters to get the optimal uh, power or maximum power transferred from the amplifier to that, to the speakers. So we're trying it now. I turn the uh, power supply on. You can see the LED, a little LED coming on the amplifier, and my mobile automatically turns on. I've, I play this music first on my, just on my mobile, without the amplifier. See how loud it is.